Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, we're doing our to-go cups in fabric, okay? We have our demos from the other video. And then I just made a lid, so it sits on top, 3D. And I did a stitch around, and I really, I had to stop and then just do this down and this down, and then I did these. The round stitch. So this would show more, it really don't, but the best I could do. <laughs> And then this one, I did a weird stitch. I don't know. I was just playing with a sewing machine. Okay. But this fabric is from Joann's. It's the long ones you get like this. I think they're like scrap pieces that are left over. They come in a bundle of different ones that come together. And then this one is the round one. And I did a stitch I'm trying to show the coffee. Okay. The coffee lid. So I did a line and then I did a line. I'm thinking I should have done a line here, but that's all right. You can see which ones you like and which ones you don't. This one don't have a line. And I think I should have done a line on that. But I think I might go back to the sewing machine and put a line in here, in that one. But I'm gonna sew, or I'm gonna glue, sorry. I'm gonna glue this down. And I made different ones. I painted two, because I did not like the color of the cardboard. And I'm gonna put this like right below that. Cause like I said, it's stripped so it didn't fit all together. So I'm gonna put that right about there. Then we're gonna glue the lid on. And I only put the glue on the cardboard. Flip it over, line it up. And there's that one. I think they're cute. Then I, I did pink for this one because it matches the pink in the fabric. Glue that one down. And I'm just putting the glue on the cardboard, okay? Not on the fabric. one on this one so you have different you have different ideas of how to do this different ways see which way you like the best I like both then we have this one I just did a straight stitch on this one for the shape and then I frayed it so if you like the fray look these ones, I wrapped around. I glued them. I glued them down, okay? I just wrapped it around and glued these ones down. So let's see how the fray one looks compared when it's done to the ones that are wrapped around. I frayed the lid too. Oh, just lost our lid, beautiful beings. Get that centered where I want it. It's a little crooked. Just a little bit. Move it up a little bit. There we go. And then this one. All I'm gonna do is keep, I would do these on a scrap piece of paper until you figure out what size or shape sleeve that you want. So we got the wrap around, but I didn't wrap this around the lid. I didn't wrap this lid around either. It's frayed. I wrapped this bottom down, the body down, and frayed this one. Now I'm going to cut this one out for you. I'm thinking I need to put a line in there. So let me go put a line in there, and I'll be right back. Okay, beautiful beings. I just put a line. <laughs> it's not exactly straight. But now we're going to cut this off. And I will leave a little bit just in case. And I think I'm going to go for the fray look. So 
make sure I get this shape. And then you can save the scraps you want. Like, I'm gonna save this long piece. And then throw the other scraps away. That's okay, they don't have to be perfect, right? We're just crafting and having fun. Oh, that's gonna have a lot of prey. <laughs> Hope everyone had a nice weekend. I did. I went to my daughter's baby shower. To cut that off. And we had fun. She had a really nice baby shower. She got lots of presents. All right, now we have to, let's, I think we're gonna wrap this. Let me show you how to do that. I got this glue, you can use any glue, but just try to use a little bit, because all you need is it up to the edge. We're gonna fold it over with this fabric, okay? And hold it a minute and it will go down. I think when you wrap it around, it distinguishes the body of the coffee more. I prefer that. The fray look looks nice too. Whatever look you like, use. Let's cut off. And you can sew them by hand too, if you have a needle and thread. And this is gonna go there. And then this one, I put a metallic color on. Baby blue. Make sure you, before you cut these, you measure them on your to-go cups, okay? So you're not wasting any. And I came up with an idea for that, so I'm not wasting any. Because <laughs> I was wasting a lot, so I, every time I do these in a different way, I'm learning so much from doing them. More, a better way to do them, so I have a better way to do them. Okay, so we're not wasting this sleeve. Let's put these aside. I have this. I already measured, and I also made a slimmer one. I was wasting so many coffee sleeves. I was only getting one out of every coffee sleeve, and I was wasting them. I already cut this one in half. I thought I had another one that was whole. I'm getting low. See, I only have three. I thought I had one more, but I guess I don't. So we can only make six, but I figured out a way to make six. That's what I'm gonna show you. All right, this is our original demo. I made another one. See how it's thinner? So we can cut the coffee sleeve in half, and you can do whatever look you like, okay? But I made it thinner. All right, so you might want to keep that in mind if you make these. Make it so you can cut the coffee sleeve right in half, like that. And then figure out how you want to design it, like this. See how that piece fits right in there? And all I did, once I got what I wanted down which took a while, and then you just do this. Instead of using the whole coffee, half a coffee sleeve, because you gotta cut them in half, because, you know, they come together like this, and then you have to cut the ends. I cut both ends. I thought I had one I didn't cut to show you, but 
So you do just cut this end, cut this end, and then you have two more. You have two pieces instead of one. And then shape your, your coffee sleeve after you get a piece of, get a piece of, I don't know, scrap pe paper and practice. Because now this is garbage, you can't use it because I don't think it looks good like that. I like this shape, okay? I got two shapes here. I tried to do that shape, but I don't really like it. This is my favorite shape right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it again. Plus you can have it this way, up and down. I mean, you can have it sideways too, but I like the up and down. It just looks more original. And then keep your demo and keep cutting like this. fits right in there. That one's a little wonky. Fits right in there. How many demos do I have? Or how many did I cut out? I did a whole bunch of ones with the center. What okay, see the difference? The one you cut out. I just took those, put them there, lined them up, basically cut the same thing except for up here, and then I drew a line in. Okay? I hope you're getting the gist of this, and then I cut it out. My demo, I traced my demo. I forgot to tell you that. Make sure you cut on a line or they'll get bigger. Just keep practicing on the, on the shape. That's what I had to do. And see if that fits. Mostly. Is that bigger? And that one's just, is this my demo? That's why. It's not even my demo. Here's my demo. And you can move it up more, okay? And then after you glue your demo down, you don't like that, you can cut it off. But I want to keep my demo, because I need my demo. Right. Hopefully you understood what I did. I just made them thinner on the body, okay? Now where's the other two? I have these two. These ones are round. These ones are square. Okay. But I need two more. I'm running out of everything, beautiful beings. <laughs> I'm running out of cardboard. I just like this cardboard because it's nice and thin. Somebody saves this cardboard for me and gives it to me. Because I like this cardboard and they just throw it away anyway. All right, where's my demo? So I'm just going to take my demo right here. I'm make sure I hold it nice and still. You can see how that's in the half. That one's a little bigger, but that's okay. Let me trim it down. That way we can get two out of this. If you have a problem, just do this from the bottom and go up and make it thin, thinner. And then the same thing on this side. And it should fit on your coffee. See? Fits on your coffee. All right, those are for them. So I'm going to set them aside so I don't get all messed up here. That's okay, I'd rather have it too big so I can cut it off than too short and have to totally start all over again. <laughs> okay, now we need to make the lids. Okay, beautiful beings. 
Let me show you how to do the lid. I need that more down. I gotta get that off there. All you do is put this down and then trace it. When you cut these out, the lids, you can cut a, around the line, but when you cut the body out, make sure you cut it on the line because they'll get bigger and bigger, okay? You like my pen? I got it from the baby shower. I think it's cute. <laughs> Right. So I'm cutting outside of the line because every time you cut these, they get bigger. <sighs> they get a little bigger. on this side and that should look good that should look good beautiful beans it took me a while to master these I don't like that my square piece right there all right I'm gonna write two I got another color working this thing's kind of wonky but it's cute there now we need a sleeve for this I got a sleeve for all of them we have six total, right? Oh, I got a sleeve. Make sure that's not the demo. Where's my demo? I don't want to, here's my demo. Okay, I don't want to lose my demo. Okay, so let's get started. I have all kinds of beautiful color fabric, okay? And hopefully my glue works for me today. No one's got a half a unicorn, so I'm just, Basically, I'm going to focus on here. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over, get the piece that you really want on there, and I want that unicorn in there. Make sure it's straight. I'm only going to get part of it, but at least I'm going to get some of it. I'm going to cut out here so there's extra on both sides. Okay. Especially if you want to wrap it around. And then a piece that you don't want, I guess, up there. But I want that flower. I don't know if someone will show though. Because the lid, it won't. It won't. But I really wanted that flower. Let's see what I just did. It's not big enough. <laughs> so we're using this because I like that lid. We'll just put this here. And it's not going to matter up here because you're not going to see it. You'll see some of it, but you won't see most of it. Okay, so that's what it looks like. If you want to wrap it around, you might want to leave more than I did here. Okay. So let's see if my glue is going to work for me. I got the three in one. I've had it sitting upside down. I had to get a pair of pliers <laughs> to get this to come off. We just need this on the front. Okay, I got that where the way I want it. But I'm gonna put this on here only because I like this because the fabric don't it don't seep through the fabric. You can use, I'm sure you can use Elena's because we have before. But I'm just gonna. Put this here. At least it's coming out. I thought I was gonna have to use a stick and take it off. <laughs> but it's coming out. So that's good. Barely. But it's coming out and I'm putting it right along the edge. Okay. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm just gonna fast forward to the gluing part because this glue is really giving me a problem. So I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to watch the problems. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Enjoy.
trim them up and when my phone is all charged <laughs> oh it just popped up again and when my phone is all charged I will be back okay beautiful beings I'm gonna give you a close-up all of them Hope you have enjoyed the video and I hope you try to make these because they're really fun. When I put them in a journal, that's when I'm going to add something to this, okay? When I put them in a journal. Then I'll decorate them some more. Pretty. I still got cardboard and fray floating around. <laughs> you want to see a close up? I cleaned the mat. It don't look like I did, but I did. And I blew these off, but not everything came off. Not everything came off. We didn't get the unicorn. Unicorn's head cut off. Maybe I'll cut off the unicorn's head and put on there. I don't know. I don't know. We got part of that one and some flowers. Here's our carrot one. We'll just pretend this is a carrot juice to go. <laughs> our carrot juice <laughs> to go container. And you can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. It can be cocoa, tea, or juice. Like or carrot juice. Whatever your preference of drinking is. Hey, beautiful beings. I just wanted to give you a close up of the fabric. Okay, and have a wonderful everything. <laughs>